Welcome once again to solving word problems that involve sketching a diagram, finding the triangle, applying the cosine rule to find missing sides or missing angles, and then calculating the bearing at some questions. We always start by reading the question, and as we're reading this question, we sketch the diagram from a lighthouse L, so this is L. An aircraft carrier A is 15 kilometer away on a bearing of 112. So from the lighthouse, we're going to draw the north sign. From the north and clockwise, we're going to measure the 112 degrees. So this is the 112. So the aircraft is, we know the direction of it, and the distance of the aircraft from the lighthouse to A is 15 kilometers. So this is A, the aircraft. And since the question started from, so all bearings are going to be measured from the lighthouse. If we continue with the question and a submarine is 26 kilometers away from the lighthouse, on a bearing of 200 degrees from the lighthouse. So we're going to measure from the north and clockwise the 200 degrees. So we know the direction of the submarine and the distance it traveled is 26 kilometer. Now, like I said, to finalize the diagram, we must always look for our triangle so to complete this shape if we connect between a and s this is the triangle now we have the diagram completed so next step is that we need to find or to name each angle and the opposite side to it if we start with this angle here between the green and the red sides between the green and the red sides. This angle, as you can see, all this angle from the north to the red line or to the red side is 200 degrees. So the 200 degrees is composed of the 112 and this unknown angle here. Accordingly, if we subtract the 112 from 200 degrees, we can find this angle here, which is 88 degrees the opposite side to it so this is L capital the opposite side to it which is the unknown is L small if we name this as A capital as an angle the opposite side to it is the red side which is equal to 26 kilometer and this is A small or side A and if we name this as S capital, the opposite side to angle S capital is the 15 kilometer, which is equal to S small. Now, if we have a look at this diagram, as you can see, the red or sorry, the green side, which is 15 kilometer, and the red side, which is 26 kilometer, are known. And the angle in between, which is 88, is known as well. So I can apply the cosine rule to find the third unknown side, which is L. To do so, we're going to start with L squared. L squared is equal to A squared plus S squared minus 2 times A times S times cosine of angle L. So L squared is the unknown side. What are the other two sides? A and S. So A squared plus S squared minus M brackets 2 times side A times side S times Cosine the angle between side A and side S, which is angle L. Let's substitute in this rule. So, L squared is equal to 
side A is equal to 26 kilometers, so 26 squared plus. Side S is equal to 15 kilometers, so it's 15 to the power of 2, minus in brackets 2 times side A, which is 26, times side S, which is 15, times cosine the angle between side S and side A, which is 88 degrees. This is not ready to be inserted in the calculator yet because we need to square root each side at first because we are solving for L. So L is equal to square root of 26 uh, squared plus 15 squared minus M brackets 2 times 26 times 15 times cosine of 88. Now this is ready to be inserted in the calculator and if you do so, you're going to find L as 29.6 kilometer and this is correct to three significant figures. 2 is the first figure, 9 is the second, 5 is the third, so you stop at the 5, you look at the right. The 5 is going to bring my 5 up to 6, so the final answer correct to three significant figures is 29.6 kilometer. So we found the first part in this question. Now, if we move to the second part, as you can see here, we have the three sides in this triangle known, and we have only one angle that is known. Now we need to find angle S. How do we find angle S? We're going to use the cosine rule and we're going to start with s squared so or that is one way or we can use in here the sine rule but please use the method that i have just mentioned at first uh, s squared is equal to a squared plus l squared minus in brackets 2 times A times L times cosine the angle between A and L, which is S. And then you're going to apply opposite operation to find the missing angle S. Or we can use, as in here, the sine rule. The sine rule, side L over sine of the angle that is opposite to side L, which is L capital, is equal to side A over sine of the angle that is opposite to side A, which is A capital, is equal to side S over sine of the angle that is opposite to side S, which is S capital. Now let's substitute in this rule. L is equal to 29.6 over, over sine of angle L, which is 88. Side A is equal to 26 over sine of angle A, which is unknown, is equal to side S is 15 over sine of angle S. So the three fractions are going to look this way. And since we are trying to find here angle S, so we're going to take the first and the last fractions as following. And now we're going to solve for S. At first, we're going to cross multiply. So 15 times sine of 88 is equal to 29.6 times sine of S. Or we can say immediately sine of S is equal to, because this is my unknown, is equal to and fraction line. And what goes down as a denominator? 29.6. Why? Because you're going to ask yourself what is multiplied by sine of a angle S? It is 29.6 and the other two numbers they go up as numerators multiplied by each other so 15 times sine of 88 
Now, this is not ready to be inserted in the calculator because we are solving for S. And to solve for S, we're going to say S is equal to sine inverse of this fraction. Now, this is ready to be inserted in the calculator. And if you do so, S is going to come down to 30.5 degrees. And this is correct to three significant figures. You stop at the four. It's the third figure. You look at the right. Eight is going to bring my four up to five. So the answer correct to three significant figures is 30.5. Now we found angle S. Can you see this little angle here between the north sign from S and the red line or the red side or the A side? We need to find this angle. And in order to find this angle, like I said before, we always place whatever we found on the diagram so that we know what is uh, left to find in the question. So to find this angle here, we're going to use the rules of finding missing angles when we have two parallel lines. So the north from L and the north from S are actually parallel lines. And if you find this angle here, can you see this angle here from the north? And you go counterclockwise until you hit the red side or the red line. This angle here is going to be 360 minus 200. So it's going to be 160. The 160 and the unknown angle, the small angle here between the north from S and the red line, they are co-interior angles. Sorry, that's the explanation here that's coming out on the screen. Angles at a point add up to 360. So if you go to point L, like I explained uh, before, and we want to find the angle uh, from the uh, north sign, and if you go counterclockwise until you hit the red side here, Okay, it, with the 200, they are angles at a point. So if we subtract the 200 from 360, we're going to find this angle here, which is going to be 160. Now, to calculate this small angle between the north from the S and the red side here, so this angle with the 160 degrees angle are co-interior angles and co-interior angles they add up to 180 meaning if we subtract the 160 from 180 we are going to find this small angle between the north sign from s and the red side in the triangle and this angle here as you can see is equal to 20 degrees now, to calculate the bearing, the, the bearing is from the north here that is coming out from the S and clockwise until you hit the yellow line that connects S with A. So, to find this angle, you're going to add angle S and the 20 degrees angle that we found as following. Why did we write that bearing as three digits? 0, 5, 0, point 0.5. Because bearings are angles measured from the north clockwise and it is composed of three digits. And this is the answer for the second part in this question. You may try on this question on your own. Please watch the video again if you struggle with any of the steps. And thank you so much for watching and for um, sharing this video and for subscribing to my YouTube channel.